Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Samsung Dex Dex show. It's the second one. I first want to try and get the um, camera to show. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the second Dex show. Hopefully this one goes better than, than the first one. I was quite nervous in the first one. I'm a bit less nervous now, but I'm still a bit nervous. So hopefully it, it, it goes well. Let's check the comments. So we have three guys in the comments so far and Let's see how many people are watching. So we got 10 people watching. Welcome everyone. And today we're going to talk about these things. And the next show is basically a simple show. Where we, a simple show where we casually hang out and talk about um, news in Samsung, Android, Samsung Dex, mobile devices, and just simply chat about it. And you guys are welcome to ask questions, and we'll answer the questions for you guys. And um, Sam Banner says hype. Rob R says shape. And Sam Banner says or asks. Which smartphones do you have? So I've got a bunch of smartphones. I'll show them maybe later. I've got about 10 or 15 smartphones and it's mostly old phones, but yes, let's, let's jump right in. So the first thing to talk about today is that Samsung started rolling out Android 9 to the Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus. So the S9, S9 Plus is now officially started getting Android 9. I wanna see if I have a um, tab for it here. Let's see. Seems I don't. Okay, so here it is. So Samsung officially started to roll out Android 9 for S9, S9 Plus. Um, according to the roadmap, it was supposed to start rolling out in January, but we're getting it now. Some people in Germany and in um, Netherlands and those countries are reporting that they're getting um, Android 9 now. As you can see here, it says update, upgrade one UI for Android Pie and one UI brings you Android Pie with exciting new features and a whole new look and feel based on feedback. Um, I've got photos somewhere of the entire re release notes for it. We can actually check it out. Let me see if I can find it quickly. Um, I saved it so it should be in downloads. Let me see here. Ah, so here we have it. Kelly Livery says 10 to 15 real. Yes, I've got about 10 to 15 phones. I'm not sure where everyone is. Like for instance, here is my S7. I'm currently using the this crappy phone in front of me to check the comments. I probably have a phone somewhere here. There's the S8 Plus standing there. Uh, behind me is the LG G4 and the Lumia 640. See, I've got a bunch of phones everywhere in my house. So here's the official update for Android 9 that's now coming out to some phones. It says here, um, we recommend that you back up your important data to keep it safe before the upgrade. Some apps including cal Calculator, Samsung Internet, Samsung Health, etc. need to be updated individually. So here's the update notes. One UI. Content settings and other, and other information have been reorganized to keep you focused on the task at hand. Interactive element has been moved. I have, a, I have an upcoming video about One UI and exactly how it looks and what's new in the update. So I will be showing that in a future video. But here's basically what's new in it. And here's some more stuff. Samsung keyboard now has the new, the new Unicode emojis. Uh, what else? Um, so, so device maintenance is now called device care. They changed the name for that. The always on display has new clocks and um, things. Mm, menus have been reorganized to make settings easier to find. Samsung text, text continue using your phone while text is being displayed on a monitor. So now with Android 9, all phones can be used in dual display. So you can use your phone while, it, while it's in the um, in the text station, similar to the um, Note 9, where you can use the phone while in text. So that's, that's coming out now to older phones as well. So um, S8, um, S9, all, all, all other phones will be getting that Note 8 as well. Um, use Samsung Dex with supported HMI adapters, no need for Dex station. Uh, some Bixby improvements, but come on, no one really uses Bixby. Well, some people do, but not much. Phone, I'm looking this way because I've got a phone next to me that shows the comments. You can now sort your call, call history, new drawer, camera. Oh yes, um, so also in this new Android 9 update, it now supports for HEIV 
HEIF images is basically a, a very dense compressed file format. I think from Google or something, it, it has high quality but at very low at very at, the, at a very low size. That's quite cool. And Samsung also released a roadmap for oops, I exited. Samsung also released an, a roadmap for, for Android 9. Um, so here is exactly when each device will get Android 9. You can see here um, Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus will get it in January, but already we are starting seeing it, people getting it now. So basically in December and January, S9 was getting um, Android 9, Note 9 is getting it in February, Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus in March, Note 8 in March, then the Galaxy A8 doing 18 in April, A8 Plus in April, A7 and A9 in April. As well as the Tab S4 in April, and then the J4 in May, the J6 in May, the A the A8 Star in May, the J7 and J7 Duo in August. Um, X Cover 4. I've got no idea what 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 that phone is about. In September, the J3 2017 in September, Tab S3 in September, Tab A 2017, as well as the Tab Active 2 and the Tab A. In October, so all these phones and tablets are getting Android 9 as well, and it seems to be everyone's getting it next year. And already we're seeing Android 9 now. That's good news. And to answer your question, um, Kaylee or Sam Bana, which smartphones I have? I can quickly go ahead and look for the smartphones for you. Um, which ones I have? Let's see. Okay, so here is the um, Galaxy S7, and then uh, this one is some shitty. Um, Vodafone. Uh, let me try find some more phones. So this is the, I think this is the LG Stylus 4 or 2 or something. It still works, it just has a broken screen, but it still works perfectly besides that. Uh, this is the Lumia 950. Great phone, great phone, I love this phone. Let's find some more phones. Ah, so here is the Lumia 640. I also love this phone. I used it for like a year or maybe two years even. And then I switched over to the Lumia 640. And after this phone, I switched over to the S7. And... Then after the S7, I actually went to the S8 Plus. And the S8 Plus was my first experience with like a, a new, new phone. No, actually, the Lumia 950 was new when I got it. Um... But I had the S8 Plus for like two weeks, two months, and then it broke, as you can see. It's completely broken, the battery doesn't work. Um, if you can hear it, basically the battery inside it is loose, completely loose. So, sadly it's broken now. Um, some, of my, some of my first videos was actually made using the S8 Plus, if I remember correctly. And I've got... Mm, wait, I can leave the phones here. I've got some more phones somewhere. Um... Here's my deck station. Oh, my deck's bad. I'm looking for more phones now. Yeah, I'm not sure where my other phones are now. But I also have a LG G4. I've got another um, S7. I have a iPhone 4 or 5. Um, yeah, I've got a bunch of phones. It's not really flagship phones or any new phones. It's mostly old phones. Um, yeah, my, my best and, and favorite phone is, of course, the S9 Plus that I'm currently using here. Okay, let's move on to the Galaxy S10 and Note 10 display sizes. So, some leaks and rumors have been come, have come out now about the sizes for the S10 and Note 10 display sizes. And these leaks are quite accurate. Ice Universe and a bunch of um, reliable leakers actually gave us these display sizes. As well as from the case makers and the... Uh, um, what's it called? The, the screen protector makers. So let's go to my browser. I can close this. I can close this. Yeah, you can see the display sizes for the upcoming devices. So the S10 Lite will have a five point. Wait, this just the sizes here. So the S10 Lite will have will have a five point seven inch display. The S10 will have, will have a six point eleven inch display. The S10 Plus will have a six point four four inch display, and then the five G variant, also called or um, inside called the um, Beyond device, will have a six point six 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 inch display. That's quite big, and yet you can see um, 
the bezels and how it will look on a phone. Um, I still think the the um, the camera notch thingy will be on the right side, maybe or left side. I'm not sure about the middle, but I'm hoping it's on the middle. But I think it will it will most likely be on the side because of, of an upcoming feature I'll show you guys later. Same Bana says that's nice. Thanks for showing. Pleasure. And then the Note 10 will have a whopping 6.75 inch display. So clearly these are the biggest um, phones they've made, um, Samsung has ever made for the flagship phones. S10 with a 6.66 inch display. Why can't I say that? 6.66 inch display. And the Note 10 with a 6.7 inch display. So it's 7.5 display. It's quite big, um, but I'm quite excited about it. I'm excited to see how it works with the One UI. What's this? Oh, Twitter. Yeah, I'm actually banned from Twitter. As you can see here, your account is locked. Our terms of service require everyone who uses Twitter to be 13 or older. So I created my Twitter account when I was 9 years old or something. And then like 4 months ago, Twitter um, sent me an email saying I'm not banned from Twitter because I created my account when I was younger than 13 years, years old. I, I created my account like 10 or something years ago and now they banned me. So I don't have Twitter anymore. I'm banned. And these are basically the rumored um, display sizes for the upcoming devices. I'm pretty sure these sizes are, are accurate and these will be the final um, display sizes for it. And I'm quite excited. I'm planning to get myself the S10 Plus, hopefully. Um, otherwise, I'll wait and get the Note 10. I keep clicking on it. And then again, this is how it will most likely or, or how it could possibly look. Where's the photos now? Oh, this is wrong review. I clicked on something. It's fine. Let's just go back. And these are how it could possibly look. Let's close this. And move on to the Galaxy S10 Note 10 camera feature. So, in the, in the Galaxy S10 and Note 10, there will be a camera feature called Bright. I think something bright. I can't remember. I have my browser here. Basically, it will allow you to take, to take pictures in very dark modes, um, in very dark um, areas, and it will come out very clear. It's called, oh, here it is. I'm um, Samsung Galaxy's S10 biggest camera feature revealed. Um, I don't get the name. So it's called Bright Night. It's a new feature in it. It's called Bright Night. It will allow you to take um, very low light photos. So it's so similar to Night Sight, Nightscape, and Night Mode from other phones. And it's coming with the one UI up under Pi, it seems. So the Note 9 and S9 will also most likely have this. I'm not sure of launch, but it's definitely coming to those devices. So I'm quite excited about this. It's a pretty big feature coming to the camera. Since right now we do have a 1.5 um, aperture camera or that um, thing, but it's not as good as, as, as the ones on the Pixel, for instance, or the OnePlus, or Google, Huawei, and Apple, as you guys can see. And then a different um, camera feature. I'm gonna see if I have it on the list here. Um, I don't have it, but let's talk about it. I think I opened it here. So as you guys know, the Galaxy A8s is now um, out, or well, kind of out, and it actually has. Where is that? So on, on the Galaxy A8 A8s, when you actually click on the camera and you move it around, then 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 it automatically opens up the camera and that feature is also coming to the s10 now so the a8 plus is a samsung's first phone using their new infinity o display as you can see here and and on this and on this phone if you actually click on the camera as you can see from here and move it then the camera highlights like it shows a circle around the camera and then it opens up opens up the camera and also every time when a camera is in use then, it's, then a circle will appear around the camera and this feature is also coming to the S to the S10 and the Note 10 when when it comes out. And I think this is a this is a very cool feature to have to be able to to, to be able to to be able to simply just swipe from the camera and then open up the camera up from any app from anywhere on your phone. You can probably disable it if you want to. I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll be able to disable it or at least um, configure it um, when to open or um, exactly from where to open. But it's also something coming to the S10 and Note 10. That, that I'm quite excited about, and this is because and and and, and this feature is why I think it will most likely be on the side or um on left side or right side and not in the middle because on the left and right side it's less likely to be touched I think 
Because when, 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 because when I want to want to swipe the phone and clean the bit, I most likely clean the middle board and not the left board. I think. Let's close that tab as well. You guys, are welcome to ask questions if you have any questions about about what I'm showing, and then I'll try to answer it as well. And then of course the Galaxy S10 will most likely have a very um, a much faster charger. So currently um the S10 has a 15 watt charger and as Universe um tweeted and said um that the death of the 15 watt 15 watt charger for Samsung phones are near. So most likely with the S10 or the Note 10, we, we, we won't be seeing a 15 watt charger anymore. We'll see a much faster charger in the upcoming devices. And I have a page here as well. As you can see here, Galaxy S10 rumored to bring faster charging speeds. Um, it, okay, so Ice Universe or the person who leaked it never said how fast, but it's most likely going, going to be on par with Huawei's um, fast charging. Because Huawei's phone can charge here, you can see the Huawei um, P20 Pro can charge um, to up to 80% in 45 minutes and it's a 4000 milliamp battery, so it's quite a big battery and charges very fast. So, most likely, Samsung's upcoming. Um, up, upcoming S10 series will most, will most likely also charge as fast as this and not have the old 15 watt um, slow charge anymore. What well, is fast charging but it's slow compared to other companies nowadays. It's much slower. And I think that's it. Let's close this. And of course um, Qualcomm released the new Snapdragon 855 CPU and is much better than the previous one. It has like a 40% or 60% um, performance boost. I know, I know Samsung also released their um, Exynos 9820 CPU. We talked about that in the previous deck show. And then this one, we're going to talk about the new Snapdragon 855 mobile CPU. There's not much to say about it. It's, it's of course on the new 7 nanometer, um, um, 7, 7 nanometer process. And the specs are about it's the same as the Exynos 9820, I assume. We don't, we don't know yet in real world um, experiences, but it'll, 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 most well, it'll most likely be on par with the Exynos 9820 from Samsung. As you can see, it, it, it clocks up to 2.84 GHz. It has octa core CPU, um, better camera, better, for, better video recording. It'll most likely be able to record at 8K resolution, I assume, because the Exynos 9820 can. Um, what else? What else? You guys can go to can, can go to this link and read more about it. There's not much to say for me about it. Um, it's just an improvement on the on the previous one. Um, I read somewhere it has a forty percent or sixty percent improvement in performance, especially gaming performance or something like that. So it should be much better. Oh, it also has better Vul Vul Vulcan support. I read about that somewhere. Um. Yeah, not, nothing too, too too special. Just that the, just that it's, it's much better. It's much better than the previous one. At least at least forty percent um, better. It should also be on par with um, Apple's current um, A12 Bionic chip. I think it should be on par with that one. And uh, maybe a bit a bit um, weaker or a bit better, but it should be around the same as Apple's um, mobile CPU. So that's quite good news. Um, for fans like us. Close that. And the next thing. Okay, so someone on Twitter. We actually have a um, Samsung Dex WhatsApp group if you guys want to join. And someone on the WhatsApp group. Kim Idem says, hey. So we actually, actually, so we actually have, a, have a WhatsApp group here. You guys are welcome to join. I'll put the link here somewhere now. Invite via link. Copy link. Here's the invite link for the whatsapp group you guys can find it from here if you can see there anyway so Demit I, got, I keep forgetting his, his, his full name Demetrius um, basically gave us a leak or not leak a, 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 um, a bug in Android 8.1 and you can fix that with the desktop desktop pop so when you have a dual a dual screen um, dual screen Dex experience when you plug the Note 9 into a phone into a Dex for instance then automatically um, some game controllers doesn't work for some reason and you can actually fix it with your desk desktop hub app you can click on start game fix and it will automatically fix fix it for you guys and just something to keep in mind when you guys want to play games on samsung decks you can use the 
this date this app to actually fix it this is his um computer and, and a screenshot from his computer i also have the app of course i don't really use the app but also have it desktop hub so if you're having problems with the mouse and keyboard or with the game controller on your note 9 then it's probably probably because of this bug in samsung's um phones and you can fix it by pressing this sort of game mode fix we can read here it also says here on samsung decks when running in dual screen mode on supported devices, if the phone screen goes off, then various input type types will stop responding such as unlock, sticks, triggers on game controllers. Desktop hub provides a very simple fix which is to enable you to force the phone screen to stay on while making the phone screen stay black to reduce the likelihood of screen burning. And Samsung is busy fixing it, so hopefully it will be fixed in Android 9 and you guys can go ahead and get the app from the Google Play Store. Simply search for um, uh, desktop hub and here's the app, here's my app also. Uh, my app is a bit shitty, but so don't use my app. Use desktop hub app, here's his app. And definitely try the app out if you guys have big problems with the um, game controller. I think this will help a lot. Um, Demetrius said that after he did this, it starts working. As you can see here, start game mode fix. Um, he says a lot of people are having these issues, which was the case, and yeah, basically his game, his, game, his game controller just simply wasn't working for him on Asphalt and other games. He talked about it earlier here, so yes, and this, and this will fix it. Let's see the comments. Seka, Led, Seka Lady says, nice that you have a dedicated channel to text. I expect big developments from Dex. Yeah, me too. I'm really hoping that that that, 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 that Dex actually takes off next year. Um, I, I'm really really hoping and hoping for that. Same bonus says, can you post the link in the chat? Uh, yes, I can post the link in the chat. Um, let's just go to Samsung Dex. Invite via link. Okay, I posted the link in the chat. That's the link for the WhatsApp group we have, a Samsung Dex WhatsApp group. So I was going to discuss in 11, but yeah, it's a perfect perfect time to, to discuss it now because we discussed the uh, dual screen game fix on Android 8.1. So then of course, the next thing to talk about is the, is the Galaxy A8s that was announced now. I basically already talked about the Galaxy A8s. Basically, it's Samsung's new phone that uses the new Infinity O display. As you can see from here, this is the new Galaxy A8s with Infinity O display. It goes up for pre-order, price revealed. So I think this phone is only available in India, I'm not sure, it's a mid-range phone, so it's not a, a, a flagship phone or anything like that, it's pretty um, mediocre specs, it has a 92% screen to body ratio it seems, 6.4 inch AMOLED, AMOLED screen, 1080p resolution, there's yeah, a Snapdragon 7, 11, 17 processor, um, as a, it has a decent camera, 3300 milliamp rechargeable battery, and this is how the phone looks. And the front display here, as you can see, with the tiny Infinity Oak bezel. I think it's only available for India if I remember correctly. I can't remember exactly now. Anyway, it says here it has six gigabytes of RAM. Oh, it's in China. Okay, so, so the pre orders went up in China right now. There's six, six gigabytes of RAM, uh, one to eight gigabytes of storage. They also have eight gigabyte model, and that's about it. Oh, it also has a fingerprint um, scanner at the back of the phone. Ah, and yes, guys, that, that's basically it for the A8 A8 um, S. It's currently the first phone using the Infinity O display. We'll start seeing more phones next year, like a bunch of more phones, and not, and not just from Samsung, like also from Huawei and from. Um, when maybe OnePlus and a bunch of other smaller companies companies will also start using the Infinity O and Infinity all the other Infinity displays. Um, let me show them. Uh, Samsung Samsung Infinity Flex. Samsung announced a bunch of different displays at the um, developer conference. I want to see if I can find the different ones, not this. Infinity, what's it called? Infinity, not Infinity Flex, Infinity Displays. Come on, Infinity Display. 
Uh, I want to see if I can find photos of it, of the different kind of displays. Let's go to photos actually. Maybe we can find it in photos. Nope. But basically, they have Infinity U display, which is basically a small notch at the top in shape of a U, and then, then, then and then they have the Infinity Y display with like a, um, a triangle at the top. It's, all, it's also a notch. Then the Infinity O display, which is um, the one from the A8S, this one, and then they have the Infinity, um, Infinity. I can't remember, but also I have one with no notch, um, no hole, just full on display, and that's about it. And those are the different displays that Samsung announced. It, it's not just for Samsung phones; it's for all um, any phone company. It's it's for any phone company. So it's quite exciting. I'm definitely I'm definitely excited for next year's um, upcoming phones with these new displays. And the Lynx on Dex is also coming to the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus very soon. We'll most likely see um, Lynx on Dex next month on the S9, S9 Plus. There's also some rumors of it coming to the S8 and uh, Note 8, but I doubt that. I think the S8 and Note 8 uh, simply doesn't have enough um, power and, and RAM to support Lynx on Dex. But there are some rumors of it coming to, Note, to the Note 8. I don't think so. I think it'll most likely come to the S9, S9 Plus and the Note 9. And tab is for and all future devices, but not below that. So I think I think I think the, ah I keep stuttering. I think the Note 8 will never get um, Linux on Dex as well as the S8. They might get it, but it will it will it will be very slow on it. Definitely very slow. And the next thing is Dex pad. But Dex pad is heavily discounted right now. If you guys want to buy the Dex pad, um, it's almost fifty percent off now on Amazon. So you can get it for fifty eight dollars if you want to get it on Amazon. The new the new Dex pad. I don't think it has ever been this much discounted actually. You can also go to the link if it opens. So here's the new um not new but yeah yes Dex pad discounted forty one percent. Currently fifty eight dollars. I'll post the link in the chat as well if you guys want to get the Dex pad. The Dex pad is this one. This is the Dex pad as you can see from here. Sam Bonas asks, did you try out developing on Linux and Dex? No, currently I have not yet tried it out. Um, Linux and Dex is not available for my phone yet. I've got the Galaxy S9 Plus and it's not available for my phone yet. My friend Dennis does have it on his um, Tab is 4. So I did try it out a bit there remotely, but I haven't yet tried it out myself. Hopefully I can try it out next month from my phone. And then I've got a bunch of videos planned for that. Um, Dennis is also a developer, so hopefully... Um, he says, he says, he says it's, it's good, but it is, it's a bit slow sometimes. So yes, I, I haven't personally tried it out yet. Dennis, 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 are you in the chat or not? Um, Dennis said he might join the um, video, the live streams. Maybe he's in the chat, I'm not sure. If he is, then maybe he can help you out with that. Um, he's, he's got more experience on the development on the Linux on Dex. Hopefully by next month, I can also develop on it. I do have the Linux on Dex app on my phone. Um, Linux on Dex, so, 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 so I do have the app, but simply not, not working for me. As you can see here, update your software. Linux on Dex requires your device to have latest software to support some features. So currently my phone software is outdated and that's why I can't use it. Um, I think it's um, Dennis, Dennis, ah, my phone is, is sore. So I think Dennis mentioned you need at least um, Android, um, not Android, is and Android Android 8.1 and the October patch or something like that in order to actually use Linux on Dex. So I don't have it. And that's about it, guys. That's basically it. I want to discuss in this video. Um, you guys are welcome to ask some questions if you want to. Why don't you sign up for the beta program? So I did sign up for a beta program, as you can see here, same banner. I actually do have Linux on Dex here. I am signed up for the beta program. Um, I have the app here, but I can't use it because my software is, my software is outdated. I need the Note 9 or, or, or I need to wait for the um, Android 9 update that's coming out now for my phone. So hopefully next month I can start using um, Linux on Dex on my phone. And yes, I'm very excited to use it. 
how many people are in the video. So eight people are currently watching. A lot less than the previous video. In the, in the first deck show, we had like 30, 40 people watching. I mean the one UI program, haha. -ha. So currently the one UI program or beta program is not available for my country. I'm currently in South Africa. Well, currently I live here in South Africa and the beta program is, is not available for, for South, South Africa. It's only available for Germany and um, some European countries and let's find a list for that. It's actually a list. Um, uh, one UI Android, one UI beta program country list. I don't know. It's available for a bunch of countries, but not mine. So I can't sign up for the beta program. So I have to wait for the official rollout. Um, I want to see what countries are actually getting it. India also has it. Um, I'm too lazy to search now, but a bunch of European countries has the beta program and I don't I don't have it. Um, I actually do have the Samsung members app here, but there's anything about, about um, the beta for me. I think you can sign up to the beta via Samsung members. As you can see here under, under notices, there's nothing for me about the um, beta update or beta enrollment. Same banner. Oh, because I can open lines on dates on my S9 plus running one UI, the official rollout. Okay, that's sweet. How is the um, one UI for you on your S9 plus? That's very cool, yeah. Um, so, technically, I said earlier that the uh, Linux index is coming to the S9 and S9 plus. It's actually already here if you if you got the update I spoke about here. But most people will only get the update um, next month. So, it's te so technically, it's, it's only coming to most people next month. But if you get the if you, but if you have the official um, the official update already, then you of course have Linux on Dex also. So you can actually already use Linux on Dex on your S9 or S9 plus if you have the official um, Android 9 update already. Um, my friend Dennis actually um, has Android 9 on his, on, his Note, on his Note 8 and it doesn't work for him for, for some reason. Um, he tried using um, Linux on Dex, but it simply it doesn't work for him on his Note 8 with Android 9. I'm not exactly sure why, but it doesn't, it doesn't work for him. Um, same banner. What do you think of Linux on Dex so far? Like, like, how is it for you? Do you like it? Um, what's your opinion on it? And how is the one UI for you so far? I'm quite excited about it. At first, I wasn't very excited about the one UI update. I thought it, it didn't look nice for me at first, but now it looks nice for me. I, I, I'm quite exci excited for it now. I'm definitely going to update as soon as I can. And then, of course, I'll be using... Um, the desktop hub app to fix the game controller problem if it's not fixed yet hopefully it'll, it'll be fixed in android 9 but then of course i can use this i should be ending the video very soon i'm just wait i'm just waiting to see if same banner will respond on his or her um opinion on the Lines on text and the uh, One UI on his S9 Plus. I can actually check for updates while I'm busy on this video, but I'm, but I'm pretty sure I won't, I, I won't get it anytime soon. I'll most likely only get the update next month. Hopefully at the start of the month. The sooner the better. I'm busy checking for updates now. Click. Same banner says I like it. One UI is very smooth and it got lots of new features and likes on Dex is awesome. It's maybe not the fastest one, but it's very usable. Okay, cool. What have you done so far on Lines on Dex? Have you installed any apps or um or tried any apps out? Hopefully um, um next year we will we'll see more um and more regular updates for Lines on Dex. I'd love to see more apps come to um to Linux on Dex. I would love to see Steam on Linux on Dex actually. See Steam and, and play some Steam games on it. That'll be epic. As you can see here, I currently don't have any update yet for um, my S9 Plus sadly. If only. So guys, that's basically it for the video. Thank you for tuning in to the second Dex show. We'll definitely have another one. Um, 
probably sometime next month we'll have another deck show and yes i actually want to have one every week but um currently i haven't gotten to that yet the first one was around um wait we can check here actually the first one was was on the 14th of november was the first one and the second one of course is today it says 14 november but uh, it, it's today of course i created this um one note um thing on a 14 but i haven't made a video then of course ah uh, how do i scroll up this app is broken on deck sometimes same bonus says so the intellij app is very usable to develop my android apps visual studio runs smooth too okay that, that's cool yeah i'm mostly excited to use the the full web browser as well as the visual studio code that those are the two uh, main apps I'm, I'm excited about is Visual Studio Code and and um oh no I forgot Visual Studio Code I've got, I've got a bad memory Visual Studio Code and um oh and the full browser of course full browser those two things are the main reason why I want to switch over to, 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 to Linux on text from, from, from my main development currently I'm using my Edge browser for development um um I mostly make um make websites for a living, so I use WordPress um for my WordPress for my websites. I'm using the browser. It works perfectly for me. So yes, thank you for watching, guys. I'll now be ending this video. You guys are welcome to leave, to leave um comments and questions in the comment section. I will check the questions out and then answer it afterwards. So thank you. Bye bye. Just have to find the stop button.